Um, yeah, it's interesting because we have assets in so many different parts of the, the solution. Um, we have com kind of competitors all over the place. I, I think one of the, the unique things that we do that a lot of our competitors don't is we, we really have solutions that address all of these different areas. Um, one of the unique things about Techelec is uh, when we talk about customer experience, we talk about it uh, in one respect strictly from our performance management solution and the types of reporting and, and things like that that we can help our customers uh, do to be more proactive and, and controlling and understanding the customer experience on the network. But we also use customer experience in the center of how we tie these different assets together. So um, if I can bring in uh, intelligence from my performance management solution and use that to feed back into the policy function that we have uh, to, to be more proactive and control the traffic going over the network, um, possibly tying in information from subscriber data management so I can control that traffic down to the per user level, especially when you offer tiered kind of subscription and tiered billing scenarios. Um, you know, we have all those different assets that we can bring to the table, and a lot of our competitors don't, so that, that makes us unique in that respect. What we're seeing in the networks is the, the, the core network speeds getting faster and faster, so, you know, we're seeing, you know, 10 gigabit interfaces in the network. Now we've got people talking about 40 gigs and 100 gigs, and going from terabytes to petabytes worth of storage, uh, maintaining all that information in real time, getting intelligence out of it in real time, being able to control the network dynamically. Um, service providers don't want to overbuild their network. They don't have the money to do that anymore, but they're continuing to entice subscribers to come on the network and use more bandwidth-hungry applications. So, um, so, you know, they have to have the ability to kind of control that in real time, and it really requires... Uh, you know, the ability to act fast and tie all these assets together very quickly. Um, and, you know, and in a broadband sense, you're doing that at, at least today at gigabit rates, if not, you know, faster in the future. But that's the that's the kind of the interesting, you know, dichotomy that we're dealing with here is, you're right, they're, they're asking people to, to use more of these services, but at the same time trying to figure out how can I manage all this stuff flying across my network. Uh, and then the fact that you're right, a few people running video can impact a, a, log, a, a broad base of subscribers just trying to do web browsing or email or make phone calls. Um, yeah, I think it starts with visibility. And again, you know, with the performance management solution uh, and the customer experience um, applications that we just announced on Monday that we're releasing as part of that product, um, we give service providers the, the ability to have visibility into that kind of traffic going over the network and what kind of impacts it's having on the rest of the network. So you can start to identify areas of congestion. You can identify, you know, which users are driving the most traffic on the network. Um, and then, as I said, if we can tie that back to the other parts of our product, if I look at it from a subscriber data management perspective, well, are those users premium customers, right? If they're driving a lot of traffic, are they paying for it? Um, and if not, then I can then bring the policy controls into place and then start to, you know, bandwidth manage and we don't like to say throttle but you know controlling That's people what it using is, the network. it is at some level Duckling and choking off yeah um, at least controlling you know who has access to what resources during certain periods of time um, you know we've done studies where uh, we found that users are certainly willing to um, either pay more to have unlimited access during peak times and so, you know, you have the ability then to apply very specific policies to allow that to happen, or in certain cases, uh, people are willing to allow themselves to be throttled back during the peak times um, if they get unlimited access to network resources and off-peak hours. Uh, again, that that gets the subscribers, or sorry, the service providers, uh, into very interesting business models and relationships with their customers. Um, but at the end of the day, they have to have the ability to kind of control those things in the network with the you know, with the, the tools that we provide. And, and again, we, we have all those different tools, so that, that gives us a bit of a unique advantage to help them.